Hello, hello, it's your boy Nick Che coming back with another video. I have been pumping out this content. I hope you guys have been enjoying it because I have been enjoying making it for you guys. Today we have another series on the channel. It is obviously my monthly favorites. I know it's a few days late, but March has been super hectic and there are a ton of new products that I've been waiting to test out before I could share it with you guys. So let's just jump into it. <laughs> All right, so first off, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you guys should because I've been posting fire content, it's at Nicholas Che. You guys know I recently picked up the Travis Scott Air Force Ones. These bad boys I've been eyeing for a while now. I saw them when they released and I waited a little bit to pick them up. Unfortunately, they are very much on the high end of the shoe spectrum. If you are a sneakerhead at all, you guys know that these are pretty hyped up right now. I got them in the white version. Shout out to my plug on Instagram. He hooked it up with this really sweet deal. And I unboxed them a few weeks ago, which I filmed when I was back home so I will play that clip right now all right guys I have been eyeing these bad boys for a while now and I finally pulled the trigger and I finally caught them um, and they're pretty saucy not going to lie if you know you know because these are so far Travis Scott Air Force One sales, I finally copped them. Like I said, I've literally been eyeing these for so long that I'm super glad I finally picked them up because these are, ooh. Icy, icy, ah. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, hello, Travis, what's good, buddy? Real quick, I'm gonna shout out the plug, Subtle Reseller. Um, he hooked it up with a pretty good deal. I got these very um, affordable compared to what you can get them for anywhere else, but. Right now I'm just wearing pajamas, but I'm gonna still try them on just because there's some heat. Oh, they're a perfect fit. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, papi. Guys, these are literally so fire. Holy shit. So the cool thing about these is that you can, I guess, take these off. Not gonna lie, that's even that's kind of saucy. Something like that. Travis Scott Air Force Ones are going to be a staple in my collection. I actually have them right here. One of the coolest things I love about them is that you're able to interchange these logos, meaning that you're going to be able to really change the versatility of this look to match any type of outfit. Now, next up, if you guys are an avid viewer of the channel, you guys know how much I love my Echo products, my Alexa. Amazon products have honestly been killing the game lately, so that's why I picked up the Echo Plus, which is just basically a bigger version of the regular Echo Dot that I have in my room. Now that I have a studio, I realized that having the Echo Plus also acts as a speaker in itself, meaning that I don't have to buy an external sound system because because the sound quality I'm getting from this is very good. All right, next up on tech, as you guys know, I recently opened up my studio. So an investment that I bought for myself is the Apple TV 4K 64 gig. I think the fourth version, um, it has the Siri remote control. And honestly, I've never had an Apple TV, but I'm so glad I invested in one. The biggest feature and the reason that I really had to buy it was because of AirPlay. If you don't know what AirPlay is, it essentially allows you to stream videos or content from your mobile desktop or your phone directly to the TV. And especially working in a studio where I'm showing videos to clients or people that need to see them, it's really convenient for me to just AirPlay it to the TV rather than worrying about HDMI cables. And the great thing is that once again, it is 4K, so I'm getting the most resolution and the best quality out of it. I'm also able to watch Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, anything at all I can do through here. While my TV is a smart Roku TV, but having something like this just allows you to get the most out of your TV as well as your creative industries and whatever tech you're going to be using. Now, the last piece of tech is something that the people over at Zion actually sent over to me. If you don't know Zion, they're obviously a huge lead in the gimbal market. They make tons of different products like the Crane, the Lab, the Lab 2. Now, this is the Zion Lab Weeble. It's very much a compact gimbal, but the downside is that it can't hold that much weight, but it is really great for run and gun setups. So someone like me who shoots on the Sony mirrorless cameras with just a single prime lens, it's able to hold that weight really well and give me stable footage, but also fit in the convenience of my backpack. Now, one of the coolest features and something that I haven't seen on a lot of gimbals are these locks, meaning that it will allow you to lock it in place so that it doesn't move around when you're putting it in your backpack or carrying it around. And then when you just need to set it up, you're able to unlock them one by one 
another really cool feature and one of the main reasons that I absolutely love this camera is that this mini tripod actually can screw on to here so that you're able to get a lot lower angles and just get more dynamic footage than you are with traditional gimbals. And once again, it is a very interesting design, but I do enjoy it. And I think that Ziyun is really making leaps forward in the gimbal industry. Now moving on from tech and fashion, obviously March was an incredible month for music. There were tons of new artists that came out with really great albums. So number one, obviously Khalid just came out with his new album a few days ago. I went through and listened to the entire thing and I was really blown away because from his last album, American Teen, he really just stepped up the production value the quality of his songs, the variation of his vocals. But overall, it's just a really great project and something that I'm going to be listening on repeat. Number two, Billie Eilish just came out with their entire new album. If you go through on Spotify, you're actually able to see a bunch of different videos that they filmed throughout the entire process. And you see it as a playlist video. And that Billie Eilish, the experience was super cool to look at and just get an insight of how artists are able to implement visuals with their music and something for me as a musician and as a filmmaker, it was a really interesting concept and huge kudos to Billie for that entire album. Number three, Huge shout out to my boy Aria for the release of his first album, Keep Dreaming. You guys know I filmed music videos with him in the past and this new album was absolutely insane. Make sure to go check it out in Spotify and Apple Music. I will have it linked down below. I've been using a ton of his tracks for my background music and for my vlogs. So go support the homie. Make sure to follow him on Instagram and Twitter and let him know that Nick sent you. Finally, in movies, I just saw Us a few weeks ago and wow, Jordan Peele really outdid himself. If you haven't seen Get Out, it was almost like a sequel to it, but very much had a different twist and a lot of different themes going on that was a little bit different than Get Out. I watched it the night it came out and it really had me on the edge of my seat. It wasn't like a jump scare thriller, but overall I really enjoyed the movie. Probably give it like a 7, 7.5 out of 10. Side note, I just bought tickets to see Avengers Endgame, so I'm super hyped about that. You guys know how much I love Marvel movies. Overall, that about wraps it up for this monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to comment down below which one you guys like the most. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, don't stress. Finesse.